there is indeed a dire situation in Australia in terms of the hot weather. Farmers not able to farm their land and get the goods going that people are used to seeing, or especially at a price that they're used to paying. Now farmers are saying that the situation is so dire that right now they pretty much presume that they're battling a 100-year drought. It hasn't been this bad in at least 100 years. And this is coming from the farming families in central and western New South Wales in Australia. They're saying that this whole region has been crippled as it's battled this drought and that many locals are saying hasn't been like this from what they can tell since back to 1902. So that would go over 100 years. They're saying that these areas are running out of water just flat out. The town dam has fallen 23%. And I know when I say that, the first thing that comes to my mind is we live in a water world. There should be, with the technology we have, the desalination plants all over the place. And it, it should be a must. There shouldn't be any excuses for cost or, or anything like that. It's just one of those things. It has to be. If you want water for the people and for your goods and for your crops, it can be pulled right there from the ocean and cleansed. It can at least offer some kind of support versus having nothing. We, we see it. We see it happening in, in states here in the United States where they finally started to do this. And they're saying, oh, we should have done this a lot earlier. You know, once again, it comes down to leadership and infrastructure. I also can't help but think about all the weather control, the cloud seeding, everything else that we've seen them do on purpose that we know exists to manipulate the weather and to make it rain. Telling me they can't make it rain out here? I find that hard to believe after what I've seen. So it makes me wonder, is the rain being suppressed? Well, it's who do you hold responsible? Hmm? You see where this goes, where you can check every country, every nation, when you can control this? And no one can point a finger at no one because they don't know who to blame, which country it's coming from, what entity, who, what, when, where, why, how. But it's happening. Left and right as things get more intense. Anyhow, this is what they're facing down here in Australia. And this is going to impact everything else in terms of the food, what people are paying for the end result what hits the grocery stores and we just seen record heat across the United States in many places as well this could be something that affects a lot of different markets and you're not going to really see the effects of that until harvest time to see exactly how short everyone is but that's the situation as of right now Wanted to shed some light on it. Prayers going out to everyone out there dealing with the wild weather, extreme heat, loss of your home from anything out there that could have been brought on by the wild weather that could be controlled by a hand. I'll leave a link. This has been Dabu7. Peace.